angle in radian, <coughs> R theta in radian, it cannot be in degree, even if you are given the angle in degree, you have to change it to radian. And we already know how to change from degree to radian. So in this question, we are told to find the length of arc. It's really easy. So the length of arc or the arc length, suppose this arc starts from A and this is B. So the length of arc is the radius. Radius is 14 multiplied by the arc length. And theta must be in radian, not in degree. That's that. And then length of arc is part of a circumference. So it can be centimeter, it can be meters or units, cannot be squared. Then multiply this out. Be careful to check. Type your answer, type an exact answer. Don't be in a hurry to use your calculator. Read the question first. If you're told that your answer must be an exact answer, then you will multiply. Watch what I'm going to do now. If I'm told to, um, my answer will be an exact, an exact answer, I would just say 14 multiply 3, 14 multiply 3. <clears throat> and start. All right, and then I get an answer, then divide by, divided by five, hit enter. My answer is 8.4, or I can leave out the answer because it cannot have a decimal. So I can leave my answer as 42 over five, 42 over five pi because you're told that your answer should be in exact form. I want to emphasize that because my lab mad will know we set it up to uh, make sure you show some work. Okay, so that's length of arc. So to find the length of arc, all you do is radius multiply the angle and you want to be careful you have to read the question and make sure that you are finding the sector here. This is a minus sector. And there is another sector, a, a major sector. So find the exact length of the arc intersected by the given central angle in the figure. So I understand that the central angle given to me is 3 pi over 5. Okay, but sometimes you can be given, like in question number 11, the central angle given in number 11 is the major arc. So got to be careful. You have to be careful. And then sometimes the question will not actually define the length of arc. It can be find the radius. So let's do number 11. So in number 11, I'm not told to find the length of arc. I'm told to find the radius. So I'm going to find the radius. So just make sure you read the question. Um, I'm going to put a formula sheet in the, so that you will see it. I'll put formula sheet there. Or when I send you the passcode today for the test, I will also send the formula sheet. All right. Okay, find the radius of the circle in the figure. First of all, you want to ask yourself, what am I given? You are given the angle 5 pi over 4. That angle is more than 180 degrees. In other words, the angle is, is in the uh, third quadrant. All right, so we are told to find the radius. So we know the formula though. Length of arc is equal to the radius multiplied by the angle theta. So what am I given? I am given the length of arc to be 5 pi. I am asked to find the radius. Then I also know the angle. And the angle is 5 pi over 4. So I can find the radius. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 5 pi over 4. In other words, isolate r. 
isolate the radius. So I'm going to multiply the side by the reciprocal. But whichever way you like to do it, multiply it with the reciprocal. So I have 4 over 5 by the side and multiply with by 4 over 5 by the side. Cancel what is common. So this and this are common, they cancel. I have now isolated R. Therefore, R is, uh, be careful, you're told to leave your answer in terms type and integer on a simplified fraction. Be careful this time. The question now says you type an integer. It did not say uh, exact form. Being careful with what obeying these instructions matter a lot. So now I'm told to type an integer or a simplified fraction. So when I simplify, I'm looking for R and I'll have to look at my uh, this side. Okay, uh, I want you to watch that I am told to find uh, the value of R. So five pi is here, five pi is there. So I can cancel five five. And then my answer is four. So the radius is four. The radius is four. Therefore, the radius of that circle is four. You can see it is not a unit circle because the radius is four. Uh, this is the practice test that I sent you. I'm not about to do all of them though, but I, I want to show you. What about the application? You can have an application that, that is all, I think there are one or two applications, how to use uh, length of arc or how to use unit circle. There are so many applications, but we don't have a lot of time to do. So let's read question number 12. Uh, people don't really that like this question whenever it comes out in the test. See people, but I, I just I want to show you, you know this. I just want to show you that it's not even as bad as people think. Uh, I don't skip it because it's an easy question. All right, find the, the distance in kilometers between the following pairs of cities, assuming they lie on the same North Pole, not South Pole. Okay. The radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometers. So you make a sketch. So the first thing I want to do is to draw a sketch. And I can remember this. I just have to remember this. Let me uh, copy this out. Um, let's see if I can copy that out. Anyway, this is, OK, well, let me make a sketch. So um, make a sketch of a circle, actually it's a sphere this time. So let's make sure we show it's a sphere. It's a sphere, and then that is the radius of the sphere, the Earth. And the radius we are told is 64, 6,400 kilometers is the radius of the Earth, kilometers. All right. And then another uh, important hint is that there are two cities. We're told to find the distance between city A and city B. So let's say that city A is here. And by the way, we are told it's not. So you don't want to write, draw it right. City A is at the north side. So city A is somewhere here, city A. And city B is south. City B is somewhere here. And this is the center of the circle. So just make a sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like my own is not perfect, but make a sketch. That shows you know what you're doing. And the important thing is, what is the central angle? What is the angle at the center? The angle at the center is 11 degrees north for city A plus 27 degrees south. So add them up because they are on opposite side. 
of the diameter. So you have to add them up. If they're on the same side, you subtract. So add them up. And then you have 27 plus 11, 27 degrees plus 11, and we have 38 degrees. So the central angle is 38. Okay. Find the distance in kilometers. This question says distance. So you have to find the distance. It didn't, it didn't say uh, the uh, arc length. I want you to know the question says find the distance. It did not say arc length. So I can walk in degrees. What is the difference? The difference is not arc length. The difference says find the distance. So I'm going to walk in degrees. I hope that on, you understand that. So the arc length or the distance is radius times angle. And what is the radius? I'm given the radius. So the distance between A and B, or you can just write any way you want to write it, is radius multiplied by, I can write radius here, 6400. Multiply by the angle in the center, which is called the central angle. And then you get your answer. When you get your answer, it's going to be written in kilometers. Write your answer in kilometers. Of course, you're told to write your answer in kilometers. Uh, write, write round your answer to the nearest integer. So in other words, no decimal. I hope you understand this question. It's not, really, it's not as bad as uh, people think. Because uh, people people kept speak, uh, skipping the question last semester. I don't know why you are skipping it, but it's an easy question, though. Okay, so you can do number. I'm, I just I told you this is a practice test. So I'm not trying to do all of them. I just want to make sure that you. I'm um, just make sure that some questions that may look difficult are not really as difficult as they think. Find the area. Okay, I want you to know that the area of a sector, of a circle, where do you know that? Where do you know that area of a sector? By the way, what is a sector? Suppose this, suppose this is a, a circle, and I have a radius here. I have another radius. Uh, this one looks like a right angle. That's okay. By the way, uh, if I'm told to find the area of this sector, I will just find the area of a circle divided by four because, okay, but this one right here is radius. They give me the angle in radian. So my answer will be, I have to use angle in radian, remember. So the area, area of a sector is R squared, one half, R square theta, check this formula out. And then all you have to do is uh, substitute uh, R for radius, square it, and substitute theta, and then find the area. Well, area is in centimeter squared, so you better leave your answer in centimeter squared. So he said that. Uh, the area is approximately. Do not round until the final answer, then round. All right, so so what we just said that area is one half R squared times theta, then multiply, don't forget centimeter squared because this area is uh, uh, square units. 